plays games with Steve and Angel. All right. We here. We here. So we're finally here. Preparing for you for the trial of Mr. Miles and Jewworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. If you want to clap no. <laughs> and make it through. Very well. Apparently, the prosecution is also ready. Who, who is? Oh, wait. Um, I think it would be me. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who's the phoenix here anyway? <laughs> I'll the, do it. Shit, I'll take no, it. Who, who is the judge here anyway? Me. Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Um, very well, no opening statements, so... Objection! Not so fast, Judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. He was napping, he was eating. <laughs> right, of course. A prediction. Today's try will end three minutes from now. When well, we drove all the way here, I kind of <laughs> hassle. Order, order! Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Objection! Bah! Must you question everything? It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I had to cancel my week-long vacation to <laughs> the serving court. I'll call my witness now. Right. I call my witness, my decisive witness, to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. Witness, state your profession. I uh, am the proprietor of the restaurant, The Wet Noodle, at Gord Lake. And I uh, also rent boats. The night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, yep, yep, I was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. Mmm, yeah. Objection! Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Objection! Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah! I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. Get a grip! The witness will state his name. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not really sure, yep. What do you mean? My uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Hmm. He can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we, witness? Or shall we? Witness? <laughs> the night of the moida. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. Yep. I was in the restaurant where I uh, rent boats, as usual. Then I heard a bang. Yep. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just uh, floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. Hmm. Very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. Objection! Tsk, tsk, tsk. There is nothing to question in my witness's testimony. <laughs> Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Oh my god. Judge, your verdict now. Oh, okay, yes, guilty, uh, sure. Mr. Wright? Cross-examine, what are you yeah. talking about? Oh, are you sure, Angel? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I'll cross- No, I'm sorry, I, I almost thought he was cutting himself off there. Of course I'll cross-examine <laughs> the witness. Of course I'll cross- Of course I'll cross- uh, Examine the cross witness. Cross- mm, Very well, you may begin. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed. I see. Well, then let's just take our time. <laughs> you may cross-examine the witness. Oh my God! I was I was eagerly anticipating when that 
sprite comes up. I, <laughs> I remember it was something like I think I was getting confused with something else because I thought like yeah he gets angry that that like something isn't wrapped up like immediately. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It was the night of the twenty fourth, just after midnight. Uh, yep. So I was in the restaurant where I hear rent boats as usual. Then I heard a bang. Well, hold on, let me uh press this. Hold it. Just after midnight, you say? Yep, just around then. Are you sure? You were pretty sure, yep. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. Objection! I asked him and he remembered. Isn't that right? <laughs> Uh, don't glare at me like that. I, uh, I remembered it clearly, I did. Yep. You see? Continue. Game <laughs> yes, over. Is I was in the restaurant where I uh, rent boats as usual. Then I heard a bang. Hold it! And where did the bang seem to come from? On the door, <laughs> baby. From the <laughs> lake, I figure. Are you certain? Uh, yep. Good. Continue. I looked at the window. I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Hold it! Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. But I figured there was two men out there. Yep. But you couldn't see them... But you couldn't see them clearly. Yep. At the time, that is. At the time? Hmm. I heard another bang. Hold it! So you heard two gunshots total? Yep. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> I think what's mixing me up is that I was Phoenix while you were Lada. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you just see Lada and you immediately think like, oh, yep, it's okay. That's what Lada said in her testimony yesterday. Yeah, Lada's my trigger word. But then the boat comes back to the shore and a man walks by my window. Hold it! By your window? Yep, by my window. Right at the window, my little shack. <laughs> and could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I have a bad feeling about this. laugh. The man was at the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. Hold it! <laughs> My voice kind of cracked. Hold it! Hold it! Are you sure? Scoob! <laughs> oh, is Toby Maguire here? <laughs> Are you sure? Uh-oh. Dad? Dead certain, Keith. He said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too. Was that a Tobey Maguire impression earlier? <laughs> Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him, that Edgeworth. Bah! Oh. Hmm. This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. On karma, he lured me into cross-examining so he could set up, set me up for fail, for a fall, for a fall. Tisk tisk tisk. Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom was glaring at us. Better act quick, or this or this trial is going to be over. Let's just wait and see what happens. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. We proved in yesterday's court that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Objection! Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun, and the photograph showing a man firing with his left hand? Exactly. Tsk, tsk, tsk. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Hmm. The judge is lost in thought. What should I do? 
Uh, raise an objection. Objection! Your Honor, this witness claims that Edgeworth said I can't believe he's dead. His word is all we have. If he were telling a lie... Objection! Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Er... Uh. Nick, do we have evidence? It's no good. There's nothing I could do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. Nick needs you. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Enough! The witness may leave the stand. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial, nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. What? No! Uh, burped. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, had a McGriddle <laughs> earlier. Hmm. Just sausage only. <laughs> uh, as, as everyone likes. Yeah. This court finds a defendant, <laughs> Mr. Miles Edgeworth. No one's going to understand. <laughs> oh, Angel! What? Uh, what? What? The accused will surrender to the court immediately. I'll tell the McGriddle story real quick. <laughs> a couple times, Steve is very kind enough to bring McDonald's breakfast, but. He'll ask, what do you guys want? And me or Angel will be like, oh, a sausage McGriddle. Not realizing there is a McGriddle that is just a sausage patty mm -hmm. in the McGriddle with no egg or cheese. Because we just assume, oh, it's the one with egg and cheese. Yeah. This just happened enough times with me. That's just funny. That yeah. Nobody wants just a sausage patty. Yeah. And if you do and you're watching this, shame on you. Okay. To be fair, too, like, even like Anne-Marie like, messaged me her order and it was like, a McMuffin. And I was like, what kind of McMuffin? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Sooner or later, well, Anne Marie kind of changes her orders every now and then. Sung One always gets the same. No, thing. I get the same. I have yeah. the Sung One special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, I, since I use that the the McDonald's app now to like order ahead of time, I'm gonna add like everything to favorites. So it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's just. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna have that enough times where it's just gonna right. be like, yeah, right, yeah, this. yeah. And I'll be like, Steve, no, I wanted the the yogurt parfait. What I don't know what the fuck is that? <laughs> the hot pancakes meal, which nobody gets. But apparently, Anne Marie got it as a kid. I was like, Ooh. oh yeah, I used to get the big breakfast like all the time. I yeah. got it Maybe as it's a, a white kid. people thing. No, I got it as a kid, and like I thought it was terrible. And I, it made me think that the rest of McDonald's breakfast was terrible. again. Angel, I think it's a white person thing. I think yeah. we uh, were just we just have you know. <laughs> Uh, More taste buds. Yeah. Anyway, as a, white, held... as a white person, I must admit, I love the McDonald's Big Breakfast. Mm. Held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. The court is adjourned. <laughs> well, I guess I like we... how we were so distracted by McDonald's. Wait! Wait! <laughs> uh, who was that just now? <laughs> Before we get into this. The gall of us to where it's a total bait and switch that the case is over. It actually says guilty. Edgeworth is going away. Possible death sentence. And here we are talking about McDonald's that's his, that's, that's his channel, baby. <laughs> anyway. Eh. It's so unserious. Huh? What? Oh, no. Oh. This was not worth it. No, yeah. Let's, get, let's talk about McDonald's again. You want to take over for Nick here? Uh, Larry? But well, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> listen, you, you gotta listen to me. I, I was... I mean, Angel, did you actually think it was a guilty? No. Yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was there in the park the night of the murder. I, I wasn't sure about it until just yesterday. But today I remembered it. I should, see, I should have played it like straight and like, Angel, oh, we got it. Yeah. Oh well, I thought you kind of did for a moment. You were supposed to. No, let I, it. I was never definitely doing. And for cheek. me, like, because it's been a while since I played this, I was just like, 
Oh, was there like, is there sort of like a way to get like a bad a perfect ending? ending. Yeah, there definitely ending. is, but I will not let that happen on my watch. No. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe I, that's bad foreshadowing for a later incident if I mess up. <laughs> Remembered what? Don't timestamp that. <laughs> <laughs> the gunshot! I heard it too! Um, three months ago, you said you wouldn't let them get a game over, but on this episode, order! <laughs> Objection! Three months ago, I don't even remember what I said three minutes ago. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> the verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did! A gunshot! That night! I was sitting here in the audience, listening to the testimony. Then I realized... Something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's it's just not right! I'll testify! Let me testify! I like how just anyone could just like interrupt a, yeah. a court sitting. I wanna do it! Me, me, yeah. me, me, me! Actually, you know what? Uh, I've got something I'd like to say. Oh, I guess we better keep the, the trial going because some <laughs> random person in the audience. Your Honor, saying. members of the court, why is there a sausage McGriddle? Order, order. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it, people like the sausage Maybe sometimes you don't want to right, Mr. Cheese. Von Karma, I suggest you research this matter further and we'll <laughs> resume court tomorrow. I mean, I like the sausage McGriddle. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. Yeah, but the McDonald's closing She's window right. for breakfast is about to close. Yeah. We, we can still make it. <laughs> Maya, it's 10.59. <laughs> yeah, we can make it. It's, no, if you put in the order now, that means they'll have to, it's, they have to honor, honor it. it. She's right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Edworth. <laughs> I, I guess get me a big breakfast. A big breakfast, Edgeworth. Come on. I'm a, I'm a big boy. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I need a big breakfast. <laughs> that got Steve. <laughs> it's just because it's the Edgeworth. Yeah. I'm a big boy and I need a big breakfast. <laughs> a big breakfast for a big boy like me. <laughs> Does Edgeworth like wipe his mouth with his cravat? Like, mm. <laughs> mm. Some crumbs there. All right. <laughs> if only it wasn't Larry. He could make things. He could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any. It doesn't get any. Uh, it doesn't get any worse. Yeah, You're right. Okay. We could miss McDonald's breakfast on top of it. That would be worse, Maya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Your Honor. There is another witness. It is our duty to hear him speak. That was a weird pause. Right here, right now. Ugh! You, you punch, punch like, like a drunken drunk rider. rider. <laughs> I don't understand and I won't ask. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Hmm. Well, allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to present to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Just kidding. I like the sausage burrito. Do they still have that? Mr. Von Karma, <laughs> I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now. What? The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. It's really going to have like all. a big animation for that. Mm. For the oh, what? After that, we will hear this new witness. Give everyone plenty of time to order their McDonald's breakfast. Yes, please. Let's stop talking about McDonald's breakfast. Court is adjourned. I'm so hungry. Uh, do they still have those cine minis? It's like, <laughs> nah, dude. That was Burger King breakfast. Bro. That, was, that was Burger King. Yo, Starlax fucking owns in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. That was too close. Sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that. What's the Burger King one? The croissant sandwich? Uh, yeah, yeah the they, sandwich. Have, they have the croissant sandwich. Yeah. Uh, and they, I don't know if they saw it, they had French toast sticks. What was their breakfast sandwich called? The regular one. They, I'm um, sorry, I cannot stop talking about this. Anyway, let's well, they go. Had, um, they, had biscuit, they had biscuit and croissant. Yeah, and the French toast sticks are at Wendy's. And okay, maybe, really I'm thinking, maybe I'm thinking good. of the croissant sandwich. They are, damn. Yeah. I wake up early for Wendy's breakfast. I don't know if I've ever had Wendy's breakfast. 
<laughs> right, <All> right, please. <laughs> right. I am on trial for murder. <laughs> for the love of God. I was guilty for like five seconds. Oh, but the Taco Bell breakfast menu is pretty good. Oh. Yeah. Just, really? You don't like it? I've never had it. <laughs> but I just, I, I mean, the first thing I imagine is like that, the waffle taco or whatever. No, 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 no. A breakfast crunch wrap, though. Is really good. Yeah, if you want to, oh. if you if you want to start your day with your belly being all toil and trouble, <laughs> I want to hate myself today. Yeah, um, I hate you right now, right? Okay, I, 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 oh, you already read this. I okay. did, yeah. Huh. yeah. Sometimes we go on for so long I can't remember, so okay. I just have to be sure. Angel, it's been fifteen seconds. <laughs> huh? I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that uh, Larry was at the lake that night. Yes. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Oh right. And he found the balloon in the air tank th uh, that night. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night. Yeah. Hey Edgeworth. Huh? You you say something right? Yeah, a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? If it's nothing. He's hungry. Hmm? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Haven't had my big breakfast for my big boy stomach. <laughs> What's that? My big boy tummy. <laughs> Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. And what's your Wendy's order? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's a, a black coffee and a plain baked potato. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. Maybe I'll put a salt packet on it. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't, I couldn't, sorry. Okay, let me actually get it. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. I didn't have my baked potato. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> We're in a weird mood right now. <laughs> we had McDonald's breakfast. It's just infecting everything. All right. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. <laughs> I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. I see. Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? Von Karma has only ever run perfect trials. Perfect trials? What are you, solid snake right now? <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear. Okay, I'll do it. Perfectly prepared witnesses. Perfectly complete evidence. Perfectly complete evidence. evidence. That's the secret to his success. His success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. Unexpected. All right, no more. He has let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. And that someone is Larry. Oh, God. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick. That guy sucks. <laughs> no 10 minute trial this time. We'll make this one for all it's worth. Hey, it was 15 minutes. 15. 15. <laughs> Everything depends on what Larry is that now. from? It's uh, the grandpa from Rugrats. Got every it. every story was like, I walked 15 miles. Uh, okay. 15 hours. It's mm. always 15. It's always 15. Always Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> from under the mat uh court is now back in session witness please testify to the court about everything that you saw on the night of december 24th right leave it to me please larry don't mess this one up i need to admit it but you're our last chance Karma didn't even have the time to prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. Von Karma's just like, what are you? <laughs> Who is this man? That night, I was out in a boat on the lake. I was looking for something, and I found it. So I quietly slipped the boat back into the rental shop dock. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. Okay. Detective that gun again. <laughs> <laughs> Detective for the love of God. <laughs> I looked over at the lake, but I didn't notice the boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. A single gunshot. Hmm. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. In any matter, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, 
Well, what's wrong, Nick? I'll it, do it. It's Larry. I what, oh, For this part, I mean. Right. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to go before it, Nick. Okay. All right, the night of the Moida. Uh, that night I was out on a boat on a lake. I was looking for something and I uh, found it. Hold it! Looking for something? Uh, yeah. Mr. Butts, what was it you were looking for? Objection! What the witness was searching for is irrelevant. Most likely he was hunting for this Gordy. You know, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if that was the truth. This is all irrelevant. Let's get it over with. Since it's been a hot sec, let's look through our court record, just kind of look, get a roll call of all our evidence here. Of all of it. All right, well, there's yeah. the butthole. Uh, this is a camera that was automatically set to detect uh, loud noises and faces the lake. I don't know if it's... Well, I, no, that part's irrelevant now. It, it was, like, updated later to, like, hear softer noises, but that's not going to be relevant to the case, I assume. Uh, time of death was either the 24th or the 25th, uh, shot from approximately one meter away. This is the updated photo. There it is. It's the left hand. Taken on Christmas at 12.15. The Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Christmas. I think uh, at a certain point, like, I think after you finish the game, we'll have to show you this. Uh, someone animated, like, a compilation of TikTok audio to Phoenix Wright uh, cases. Oh. Just make sure there are no spoilers. Yeah, though. but there's, like, a bunch of spoilers in yeah, there. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, okay. That'll be my But that's how, the later. first time I heard the Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry <laughs> Chrysler. Merry oh. Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Crisis. Uh, shows an empty lake uh, taken at 1224. So, they gave us this photo, but we can't fucking look at it. Okay. I mean, it's just an empty lake. It's just an empty it lake? It says, shows an empty lake. Checking out. Mm, okay. Uh, this is the old photo. It's from the DL6 incident. Exhibit A. Can't click it. Something wrong with the D-pad or something? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I was just me trying to click A. Uh, okay, it'll, it'll do a little check if you can oh, say. Okay. Article about the monster of the lake. Uh, press A. Yeah. Yeah. Hot news. Uh, over Overhead map of the Gord Lake. I keep reading as overheard. Mm. <laughs> Is that, the map was talking shit about you, Angel. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck did it just say? Uh, found in the victim's body, the ballistic marker markings match the murder weapon's barrel. The murder weapon is 22 caliber, fired three times. Bears prints from Edra's right hand. I heard two sounds like gunshots. Like gunshots is interesting. It makes a noise when metallic objects are near. A useful detector for this. I'm surprised we didn't abandon this. Uh, the response companion of the boat keeper is named just to Polly. File on the DL6 incident. Press A to read. Aaron, so depleted at time of incident. No clues on the scene. Eric Edgeworth, defense attorney, trapped in an elevator, returning from a lost case. One bullet found in a heart. The murder weapon was fired twice. Hmm. Okay. Yanni Yogi, 37, a uh, court bailiff trapped with the Edgeworths. Memory loss due to oxygen deprivation. After his arrest, fancy. That kind of scares me. I mean, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is just fabricated because it's a game. But the idea of, like, like you could have permanent memory loss just from, like, oxygen deprivation from, like, one moment is, like, really terrifying. Um, That's interesting. The fact that we're, like, recounting, like, the number of gunshots has me thinking it's got me thinking but maybe i'm thinking ahead uh so I quietly set the boat and then the rental dog then just those think about going home i heard this bang where did the sound come from yeah well i wasn't too sure about that I looked around you know i hate his mouth there did you look at the lake yeah i looked that mouth there they, oh, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. I looked over at the lake, but I didn't notice the boat. Hold it! I forgot to say hold it earlier. Wasn't there a boat on the lake? I think there, I think there was a boat. Order, order! Well, Mr. Butts? Whoa, whoa. Everybody just calm down, okay? I mean, 
It was real foggy that night. I'm not sure whether there was a boat out there or not. Oh, okay, no problem. That's just the most important part of this case. Huh. So after that single gunshot, I went home. Single one. Hold it. So you only heard one bang, correct? Just like that one? Thank you. Yeah, Detective. no problem. <laughs> See, someone appreciates me. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, Nick? Hmm. It was a pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? I guess I should just start working on the contradictions. Sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I wish I could call my sister. All right. Mm, that night I was. Uh. All right. I, I can't work backwards. Like or like, the scrolling thing where I can't like scroll it like no. from the beginning and then no. skip to the end. I hate that. Well, you just gotta. You could always go backwards. Just make sure you don't. Just make sure you don't click. Past like remember here. what the like, the see, arrows. You see the arrow. So if there's a no arrow on the right, that's the last statement. Yeah. So yeah. just don't click past that. Oh. oh, I was saying like it would be nice if I could skip right and it goes back to the beginning. But I, I imagine maybe. Oh, you want that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just because it would be faster. Um, mm. after oh, so after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Um, I want to present this because you hear two gunshots. Objection. There you go. There you go. But what? Yeah, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Oh, <gasps> oh, damn. Okay, okay. Wait a wait a day, Larry. <laughs> Okay, Nick. <laughs> Seems like kind of important, but all right. I'm gonna be I'll putting like this, this pose. Yeah, for 24 hours. 